Hey, what's going on, guys? You're watching Sneaker News on YouTube, and today we're taking a closer look at the New Balance 997S by Bodega. Before we do that, just do us a quick favor. Please hit that subscribe button, and we'll get right into it. Boston's premier sneaker boutique, Bodega, is back at it again with New Balance and the 997S. Before we get into the unboxing video, we just want to go over the basics. The shoes will drop in September 2020. No other information has been shared with us at this time, but we will update the description below for full release date and price. So the 997S is now well into its second year in existence. I mean, first really came onto the scene when New Balance was really pushing their, their modern versions of classics. And the 997, if you're familiar with that shoe, you know, they've done plenty of collaborations. The 997, it's a, it's a sporty shoe already as is. Definitely the sportiest of the 990 models in our opinion. So the S version just takes it to another level. There's a really bulky chiseled heel midsole. There's the, the booty construction that again, kind of speaks to more of the contemporary way of how shoes are made. Um, but they're definitely a bit of retro shoe based on the suede and the mesh and the leather. So again, New Balance really did a really great job with the 997S and Bodega deserves a lot of credit for putting this shoe on the limelight because uh, their collaboration collaborations thus far have been very, very on point. So they first started with the 997S back in April 2019 with the No Days Off. Those were one of the most coveted shoes of 2019. It was just an offshoot of their Hypercat colorway. Simple gray, black, purple, you really can't go wrong with that. And then they followed it up in September of 2019 with the No Bad Days version. Again, that had more of a trail style laces, a really nice leather uppers, and slightly different colorway, but again, it really accented just the, the capabilities in terms of colorways because there are so many pieces uh, on this upper. So it's definitely not like a slip on shoe, although it may feel like one. And finally, they're closing it out with a third and final one called Better Days. It's a perfect title for 2020 based on just all that's going on right now, not only with, you know, social causes and things of that nature, but with COVID, you know, we have definitely seen better days. So again, great timing with this release. And again, focusing on just the unique color blocking and it's just a really a hodgepodge of colors there really is no like fluidity and i think that's what gives it that character that the colorways are so in your face and the color blocking is very very high contrast now again the no better days like the previous ones mix suede and leather on the overlays with a mesh toe box the heel is where it gets interesting you see that diamond texture on the heel the heel that scoops up a lot and even the interior booty has this like dotted texture to it so again it's like a mix of past and future and the midsole again there's like a three-way color blocking uh, if you've seen the the previous two models the toe the midfoot and the heel all have different colors but this one definitely sticks out the most because the heel is black that midfoot is that cream with a light speckling and the forefoot is like a two-tone gray now one thing that's different with the the better days is that it features a gum outsole i mean obviously gum soles isn't really new to sneakers but the previous two 997s by bodega had black outsoles so the gum just sort of fits better with this colorway it gives it that strong trail hiking aesthetic and going back to their june collaboration with new balance they did that x racer those had a very very heavy trail look to it so it's clear that they're kind of moving in that direction and it's perfect timing because you know it's the shoe is a september drop so again this time of year around fall that hiking look is very much in so we don't exactly want to call this like a hiking shoe look because if you look at the insole there's an illustration of a lone ranger type of figure kind of walking off into the sunset in the desert so the color palette here really matches that american desert look if you think like you know arizona new mexico like things of that nature so again there's a lot of that strong south midwestern look to it and it sort of you know finishes off the trio in a, in a perfect way again this is something that we've kind of expected from bodega because they've sort of uh, skewed away from you know monochromatic looks they're sticking towards you know high vivid contrast and colorways that really tell some sort of story and again this is not to knock any other shop that's doing you know one or two tone shoes you know this is just something that's really desperately needed in sneakers right now in our opinion there's a lot of over simplicity right now which is kind of ironic because just a year ago everything was about deconstructed and kind of making things wild but you know these brightly colored high contrast color blocking is kind of what made new balance what it is today in the sneaker game you know we were all seeking these kind of shoes and you know they kind of reverted back to that that shoe boutique collab style which you know just never seems to go out of style so Without question, the better days will be very, very highly coveted, and we're just glad to have these in our hands to show you guys. So that was just our quick overview of Bodega's New Balance 997 Better Days. Again, these release September 2020. Further information will be detailed in the description below. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.